If you want to learn how to explode your reach with Instagram Reels, then keep watching this video because I have some strategies you likely haven't heard of before. Let's get into it. The first strategy to increase your reach is to incorporate quote reels in your content plan. Every single month, my team and I meet to look at our best performing posts and our worst performing posts. And time and time again, the best performing posts on our account right now are quote reels. They have outperformed every single content piece that we have done. And the best part is, is that these quote reels are incredibly easy to make and you can make them within the Instagram reels app. So what you do is you go into Twitter and you screenshot the quote that you want and you make sure you crop whatever you don't want in the final product. Afterwards, you make sure you go to Pexels and hit the videos tab and then download any video that you want. And now you're going to go into the Instagram Reels app and upload that video that you just downloaded and make sure you trim the video to be less than seven seconds. This ensures that your video isn't too long. And later on, I'll explain why you want this video to be less than seven seconds. Afterwards, you then want to quickly go back to your photo album, find the quote that you just screenshotted and hit copy photo. Then when you enter the app, it'll say add sticker because you copied the photo. Now you can actually increase the size and turn that into your quote post. Finally, the next step is you want to hit audio and make sure that you add music on top. And this music should be trending audio. Now you have your quote reel. And as you can see, it was incredibly easy to make. It was 100% free and I edited everything within the Instagram app. Now at this point, you might be wondering, Vanessa, why did you say to make it less than seven seconds? Well, the reason why is because the more plays that you get on an Instagram reel, the more Instagram is going to say, oh my gosh, this content piece is performing really well. People are engaged with it. They're watching it over and over again. So let's boost it in the algorithm. When you make your reels, especially quote reels less than seven seconds, as people are reading the quote, it means that your video is actually replaying in the background. So the shorter you can make it, the better. I actually experimented with this where I posted a quote reel that was 20 seconds long and it did not perform compared to my other quote reels that were less than seven seconds. Now, the reason why you don't want your quote reels to be too short either, meaning you don't want them to be one second or two seconds long is because you're still going to reshare them to Instagram stories. So you want it to be on Instagram stories just long enough for people to be able to watch it on Instagram stories too, and entice them enough to want to click on your reel. If your reel is too short, then it's just going to quickly disappear on Instagram stories. That's why I believe four to seven seconds truly is the sweet spot based on what's working on my account. In addition to this, in order to truly explode your reach on these quote reels, you want to make sure you're adding trending audio on top. So how do you find trending audio? It's really simple. You go into your Instagram reels, explore feed. Then anytime you see an audio that has this arrow pointing upwards, it's basically Instagram telling you that this audio is up and coming and is trending. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on that audio and make sure that you hit save audio. This ensures that it's saved in your library. And then whenever you're editing your reels, what you want to do is hit the music button, then hit the save button up top. And it's going to show all of the different audios that you have saved in the past. This is going to streamline your workflow and ensure that you're being strategic with the audio that you're selecting. Now, the next strategy to absolutely explode your reach is to stitch popular content. That's not yours. I experimented with this where I stitched an ASAP Rocky video that was already super popular and I saw my reach completely explode on this Instagram reel. How are you going to knock somebody in the world for actually trying to do something? Trying. Since when has it become not cool to try? Fucking loser. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to go on YouTube and find any motivational interviews or any popular speeches or videos that already people know and love. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to copy that video and find a YouTube video downloader on your mobile phone. So for me, I use Vidiget. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to paste that link into that browser and hit download. This is then going to allow you to download this video directly to your mobile phone. Now, once I've downloaded the video, I'm then going to save it to my actual photo album. Next, what you want to do is download a video editing app called CapCut. It is 100% free. Once you've downloaded CapCut, you're then going to add a new project. Then you're going to want to stitch two videos. The first video is going to be a video of you like this, and you can trim it so that it's whatever length that you want. Then afterwards, you're going to want to add the video that you just downloaded off of YouTube. And from here, you're then going to want to trim it to the section that you want as well. Afterwards, you're going to hit add and it's going to combine these two videos together. You can also delete the CapCut watermark at the end. 
So as you can see, it's gonna look something like this. Now, if you wanna add subtitles to your video, very similar to what I did for the ASAP Rocky video, what you're gonna to wanna to do in CapCut is hit text, and then you're gonna to wanna to hit auto captions, and then hit continue. What's gonna happen is CapCut is going to auto transcribe your video and it's gonna look something like this. So now your video already has captions. And if you want to make your video a little bit bigger, then what you can do is click on the video and then you can expand it and move it around within CapCut. So as you can see, stitching videos are incredibly easy using CapCut and I highly recommend it because it is 100% free and it has the possibility of giving you crazy amounts of reach like I did with this video right here. Now the reason why these videos tend to work really well is because you're essentially piggybacking off of content that's already doing super well. And when you are able to bring these content pieces to your audience, it is then going to increase your reach and also reach a mass audience. So let me know in the comment section below if you'll be trying out this little hack to help you boost your reach. Now at this point in the video, if you just follow the first two tips that I gave you, which is do quote reels and stitch already popular videos, you are going to be able to reach even more people, especially non-followers, which is why it's even more important to listen up to my next strategy. And that is the moment that you notice one of your reels taking off when it comes to views, you're gonna wanna make sure you leverage the pin post feature and pin that reel onto the top of your profile grid. The reason why you wanna do this is because you wanna increase the momentum on that post. The moment that you notice something taking off, you wanna make sure you add more fuel to the fire in order to increase the chances of it truly going viral. For example, this ASAP Rocky post, I already knew that it was gonna take off because within the first hour of me posting it, it got a lot more views and a lot more likes than my typical content. So immediately what I did is I pinned it to the top of my profile grid. Then afterwards, within a few more hours and within even a few days, this content piece outperformed so many of my other content pieces and the moment that I pinned it to the top of my grid and made it top of mind it actually accelerated the growth even more so you want to make sure that you do not sleep on the pin post feature on Instagram and leverage it to the best of your ability now if you want more tips on how to leverage this feature specifically make sure to check out this video right here because I dive deeper in the different ways that you can leverage the pin post feature now on the topic of momentum, the next strategy that I have for you might ruffle some feathers, but if you are someone who wants to double down on Instagram Reels with the goal of increasing your reach and increasing followers to your account, you're gonna wanna ditch long captions. And there are two reasons for this. Number one, it slows you down. In terms from a workflow perspective, if you're spending a lot of your time writing long ass captions, it's gonna really slow you down from posting more videos. As of right now, in order to really maximize your reach and get more followers, you're gonna want to make sure that you post more Instagram reels. But if you're spending most of your time writing long captions, it's really gonna slow down your productivity and your output. Time and time again, as I evaluate data on my own account, I have noticed that if I increase my post frequency, typically I will get more reach and more followers, as you can see from the data that I've collected before. Now, the second reason why you might wanna ditch long captions is again, if your goal is to make sure you're reaching as many non-followers as possible, and you wanna increase your reach, you're gonna to have to realize that most people who don't follow you are likely seeing your Instagram reels on these pages right here. And most times when people are scrolling through these pages, they are not opening up your caption. And that is why it is ultimately a waste of time. Now, of course, people who are loyal to your account who already follow you may open up that caption and read it to its fullest, but most times people who don't follow you yet are not looking at that. And so if your goal is to increase your reach, you basically want to increase the amount of non-followers who are seeing your content. And truth be told, non-followers are likely not reading your long ass captions and instead are evaluating whether or not they wanna follow you based on the content content piece itself. Now at this point of the video, you might be thinking to yourself, hallelujah, I don't have to write any captions at all. No, what I'm saying is that to not spend time writing long captions and instead opt for shorter captions and captions that you can rotate between and basically copy and paste. So for instance, what we're doing in our company is we're now creating caption templates where we'll have primary call to actions, meaning call to actions that will invite someone to actually engage with the content piece, and then secondary call to actions, which basically drive people to our link in bio and get them to opt in to whatever lead magnet or offer that we have. This way, depending on the post, we'll then just mix and match these caption templates, and it basically takes seconds to do. 
Now, the reason why you want to do this is because even though we're assuming that most people aren't going to read or open up your captions, we also have to assume that some people still do. And for those people who actually read your caption, you want them to take action, whether that's engaging with your content or taking action on your offers or you actually being able to build your email list. These things are still incredibly crucial and you don't want to not use this caption feature at all. That's why my recommendation is to not only keep your captions short, but also to find ways to make captions completely plug and play so that you don't have to spend too much time on them. That way you can spend most of your time creating videos instead and increasing your output, which is what is ultimately going to get you the most reach. Now on the topic of increasing your output for Instagram reels, here is some breaking news and my next strategy, and that is to schedule your Instagram reels. Yes, you now no longer need to manually post your Instagram reels because later media just released a new feature that allows you to schedule and auto publish them. So let me share my screen and show you how it works. So within later scheduler, you're going to upload the video from there. You're going to hit create post and make sure that the post type is selected as reels instead of feed post. Now up top, you can either send a push notification or select auto publish in which you can select the exact date and time you want your post to come out. You can add your caption as normal and also select a cover photo, which would be a frame that's within the video. Now, just as a pro tip when it comes to cover photos, and if you are going to use an auto publisher, just like later, what we like to do is within our Instagram reels, we already have the cover photo in the video. That way, when we are selecting a cover photo, all we're doing is selecting the frame and not necessarily uploading a whole new photo. So try it out if you want to make it a lot easier for you and you care about what your cover photos look like. Now moving on to the next strategy, and that is making sure you add a cover photo. The reason why you want to do this is because reels that have cover photos tend to perform better than reels that don't have cover photos. And the reason why is because when someone is creeping your page, the first thing that they're going to see is the cover photos. Very similar to YouTube thumbnails. You want to make sure that your cover photo is click worthy. The more clicks that you get on your Instagram reels, the more reach and more views you're naturally going to get. Now, a really easy way to create Instagram reels covers within Instagram is to simply screenshot a frame within your unedited reel. Then afterwards, upload that screenshot onto your Instagram stories editing app, add the text, save the photo, and then re-upload that as your Instagram reels cover. Now you can reposition it within the grid. This is one of the easiest ways to create Instagram reels covers without using apps like Canva or going somewhere else. Now, the next tip that I have for you to increase your reach is to make sure that you are also creating original content. The CEO of Instagram said that they are ranking based on originality. So you copy and pasting other people's content and doing trending stuff like this is not always going to work. That's why I've also pivoted my content strategy to create more talking head videos like this because it is 100% original content. This also helps you in the long run, especially if you're a business owner and you want to increase your authority. What I have noticed is that when I do trending stuff, stuff like this, whether it's dancing or doing a funny skit, I typically get a lot of reach. Yes, but it doesn't necessarily translate into me getting more clients for my business. That's why when you create content like this, it actually increases your authority within your industry and has better likelihood of actually getting you sales in the long run. So definitely within your content plan, in order to increase your reach, make sure you're also mixing in original content as well. Now, in addition to creating original content like this, the next strategy is to make sure you are adding captions in order to make your content super engaging. Now, a common question that I get all the time whenever people see my talking head videos is how do you add the captions? The truth is, is I get my video editor to do it, but there is a way simpler and cheaper way to do this. So let me introduce you to Veed.io. This is a free video editor. What you're going to want to do is start a project and select the Instagram story size. Then you go to media and upload your file. Once your video is uploaded, you're then going to want to go to subtitles and then hit auto subtitle. Now, once you have your subtitles, you're able to edit the words and you're also able to create different styles and really customize it to your liking. You can choose the different font. You could choose the different size and you can also choose the different colors as well. One thing that I really like about this is when it comes to the fonts, you can also upload your own font and really adhere to your own brand. Not to mention there are different subtitle effects for you to choose from. 
Now, one of my favorite features about VDIO is the ability to split subtitles. A lot of creators want their captions to show up one word at a time. And so what you can do is you can actually use the split subtitle feature. So where you want the subtitle to split, you're then going to hit split subtitle. Now, as you can see, I've split the subtitles in this section, and now let's play to see what the result looks like. As you can see, instead of showing the full sentence, it's now showing a few words at a time. So if you are someone who wants to add engaging captions to your reels for free, whether it's on mobile or desktop, definitely check out CapCut or Vidio. Now at this point in the video, I have given you some bomb ass tips on how to increase your reach and get more followers using my Instagram reels strategies. Comment below and let me know which one was your favorite and that you'll be trying out first. Not only this, you have to understand that getting followers is one thing, but retaining them is a whole other beast. That's why I recommend you watch this video that I have right here that talks about how to increase your story views. Instagram stories is one of the most underrated features in terms of retaining your audience. So make sure you click on this video to watch my other tips when it comes to increasing your views on IG story. As always guys, I appreciate you. I hope this video helped and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys and take care.